All right, so today is Ori's birthday once again, but this time for the sequel. And this time, I'm at my house right now because on my last video where I talked about Ori's birthday, I was at my grandma's house and I was editing the Sea of Thieves video late at night, but I went to sleep at around 12. This time on this video, I'm making it a lot longer. I'm at my house right now. It is currently 7. No, it's 8.03. So I still have time to record a video and, you know, protect my voice. So this is something that I do want to talk about that I'm a little worried, all right, for or Ori going to the PlayStation. I know I did make a video saying that Ori going to the PlayStation is very likely with the unfortunate situation with Thomas Mandler when he said that even though you buy Ori on the Xbox store, it doesn't necessarily support Moon Studios, even though you could sell a lot of copies. To specifically support Moon Studios, you have to buy the game on Steam. And I guess the Thomas Mandler sort of exposed what it's like being a game developer, working for a big company like Microsoft. And um, I... I honestly feel bad for him. I can't really speak much about what it's like being a game developer or a game director hosting a game development studio that is known for making an unforgettable, underrated emotional masterpiece, even though I still couldn't play because I'm still waiting for two of the games of the series to go to the PlayStation. And the reason why I'm worried about Ori not being ported to the PlayStation is because of this apparent rumor that Twitter was spreading around that Phil Spencer is apparently trying to prevent Ori to go to the PlayStation because there's a lot of demand. All right. I'm not the only person on Twitter. I should say I'm not the only person on the internet that's been begging for almost two years now, currently for me. All right. I know that there's PlayStation fans that probably have been begging for a decade ever since the trailer came out for Ori and the Blind Forest back in 14 when it was released for Xbox One and the 360 at the time. But for me, it's for two and a half years. I've been making constant videos. I have a feeling that it's most likely not going to happen, but I'm still hoping that my wish will come true and hopefully it will be this year. All right. So here are a couple of screenshots that I do want to show you. So this situation happened a couple days ago where it says Moon Studio CEO, creative Ori, aka Thomas Mandler, tells gamers if you want to support their studio, buy their games on Steam. When asked why not Xbox, says people will rent it using Xbox Game Pass, which does not help Moon. It says Phil Spencer is keeping Ori off of PlayStation at Xbox P3. So these are the screenshots screenshots that this guy provided with the responses being made by thomas mandler saying why not on xbox store because then people get it on game pass and that doesn't help moon studios i'd love it if both ori games came to playstation i'm sure many others are hoping that happens too and thomas mandler responds to her saying then please let at xbox p3 the twitter handle that phil spencer uses know of that it's not in our hands smiley face now i understand that this person is trying to get some answers from phil spencer himself i'm pretty sure he's pretty busy with the whole thing and you know he is the head of xbox but for you to say that phil spencer is keeping ori off a of playstation that's like a bold claim all right he said that tell phil spencer to put ori on playstation with this whole business update idea that phil spencer came up with the xbox podcast that he did talked about with sarah bond and matt booty darkborn makes a tweet saying but doesn't phil want everyone to play every game at xbox p3 phil spencer's twitter handle who does it help by not having ori on playstation but you don't mention stuff like this but you'll be screaming about the next playstation game being exclusive now yes that is true that phil spencer wants everybody to play play the games that are available from xbox and make it portable to nintendo and playstation what doesn't make sense to me is that this person misguided the words of of thomas mandler all he said was tell phil spencer to put ori to the playstation it's not in our hands in the podcast he said that if the sales do well for pentiment hi-fi rush grounded and sea of thieves more will come through round two basically for the xbox exclusives going multi-platform with this whole statement that phil spencer is keeping ori off of playstation it scares me all right it scared me because i thought that this was a true claim being made by phil spencer but if you spread this rumor on the internet for people that don't really think well or can't think for themselves and are easygoing and quick to believe it's gonna spread like wildfire all right now this game means a lot to me both ori 1 and ori 2 i made over 20 videos about this any update right or just me coping in general about Ori going to the PlayStation or hasn't gone to the PlayStation yet. I feel like everybody that that is a fan of Moon Studios that has played it either on Xbox, Steam, or Nintendo Switch wants the PlayStation fans to play it to not feel left out. And I am a PlayStation user that is currently left out. I'm not being left out with Pentiment, Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded, and Sea of Thieves being ported to the PlayStation. Even though I did find Hi-Fi Rush being ported to the PlayStation pretty cool, I am still hoping that Ori gets ported to the PlayStation so that way I can 
play the game that I've been waiting to play for almost two years and for the rest of the PlayStation fans that were also waiting for this game to also be ported to the PlayStation for probably a lot longer than I have, all right? So that's all I want to say for this video. Um, I'm kind of nervous, again, because I don't know if it will happen, but I'm hoping to God it does happen. And I feel like the fans of Moon Studios can share the same uh emotion or feeling that i'm having right now as well that's all i want to say for this video if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like subscribe comment down below by the video still currently working on my sea of thieves video i know i'm stuttering every word i'm trying to make this video as quick as possible that's all i gotta say this is wolf.gray and i'll see you all later see ya